Hello, I'm Alexandra with the Pungyo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the fourth week of June. NHN Cloud to host a webinar to help game server development. NHN Cloud announced on the 15th that it will hold a webinar to introduce its cloud-based game server engine, Game Anvil, on the 21st. Game Anvil provides gaming server templates, web operation, and performance test tools. Game developers with little development experience also help to make game server development, services, and service operations to be possible all at once. This webinar will be held under the theme of Game Anvil on NA10 Cloud. John Mantol, head of the NA10 Bigfoot Game Server Engine team, will be a speaker and address why game development is difficult as well as discuss Game Anvil. NHN Cloud plans to explain how Game Anvil can easily and conveniently develop online game servers through this webinar. Pre-application and broadcasting can be made on the NHN Cloud webinar website. An official from NHN Cloud said, anyone interested in game development can participate, adding, it is also possible to replay previous webinar videos, presentation materials, and major questions and answers on the website. Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator to offer test beds for AI technology companies. The Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator announced on the 14th that it will recruit participants in the AI Technology Demonstration Test Bed Project for AI technology companies. This project will utilize the infrastructure built in Pungyo Techno Valley to help companies test, certify, and evaluate AI technologies in actual human environments, and the public will also get to experience its features. Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator plans to recruit a total of 10 companies, which will participate in the demonstration this year, and will provide support by dividing them into funding and non-funding types. Participants in funding type demonstration projects can receive 50 million won per task, along with free use of test bed infrastructure and free consulting for performance evaluation and test certification. Participants in the non-funding demonstration project can learn and test their AI technology using their test bed infrastructure, HWSW, and can receive performance evaluation and test certification from Korea Conformity Laboratories. Applications will be open 24-7 until the budget cap is reached. In addition, when participating in the demonstration support project, the general public can experience and evaluate the demonstration tests directly using the AI Experience Studio, an indoor testing space, and AI Multibox, an outdoor testing space. Those eligible for the support are small and medium-sized domestic companies that can demonstrate AI technology in mobility, convenience of life, and disaster safety, and can participate alone or by forming a consortium. Application ends when the budget cap is reached, and you can fill out a business plan and apply through EasyBiz. There are not many places with infrastructure nationwide that can demonstrate rapidly growing AI technology, said Jung Kwang Yong, head of the 4th Industrial Revolution Division. We will do our best to provide citizens with the opportunity to experience AI technology and AI companies with technology demonstration events by actively utilizing infrastructure in Pungyo Techno Valley. Park Sung Jin, CEO of Naver Financial, says, Naver Pay will achieve 100 trillion won in three years. At the Naver Financial Media Day 2022, held at the Plaza Hotel in Junggu, Seoul on the 14th, Naver Financial will prove its value as the most popular fintech platform for ordinary users and SMEs. In addition, CEO Park announced that he will achieve 100 trillion won in annual pay usage, increase the number of SMEs by five times, and increase the number of monthly active users of May Data Service to 100 million by 2025. First, Naver Financial decided to speed up the expansion of affiliate stores. It will expand regular payments such as content and insurance, daily payments such as travel, culture and education, and external franchises such as overseas online. It will also increase the number of brick and mortar affiliate stores in industries such as healthcare, culture, and mobility this year in consideration of users' lifestyles. In addition, starting with the linkage with Line Pay Taiwan within this year, it will expand overseas payment linkage using Neighbors Global Networks. CEO Park added, there are still remaining payment locations to secure, 
so I think NeighborPay has that much room for growth. It also announced its goal of increasing the number of SMEs using Neighbor Financial from 100 to 500,000 by 2025 by moving offline. First, when SmartPlace Business Loan is released in June, both online and offline SMEs will be managed. Neighbor Smart Place is a platform where offline SMEs can register store information on Neighbor Search and Maps and use business tools such as Neighbor Reservations, Orders, and Smart Calls for free. During the second half of the year, private business loan comparison services will be launched. Full-time business loan products will also be introduced, and financial corporations will be able to promote their product development. In addition, the My Data-based My Asset service is also planning to achieve 10 million MAUs by boosting its competitiveness. My Asset Service will be strengthened in a way that user traffic of neighbor shopping, pay, and financial content can be connected. It is planning to complete most of its lineup of assets that can be linked by the end of this year. On top of that, it is planning to start differentiating itself with the Insurance Integration Search Service, which is scheduled to be released in June. On top of that, it is planning to start differentiating itself with the Insurance Integration Search Service, which is scheduled to be released in June. In addition to a guaranteed analysis for existing insurance, customized insurance information is easily explained as content. In the third quarter, it is also connected to receipt review services of Neighbor My Place. If a user links the card details in My Asset Service, it is easy to authenticate the purchase and write a review, even without a receipt. Robotics, Safety, Environment, Logistics to be POSCO ICT's new growth engines. POSCO ICT CEO Jong De Pyeon has selected Robotics, Safety, Environment, and Smart Logistics as new engines of growth and kick-started fostering related businesses. Its strategy is to strengthen market leadership by connecting these new businesses with smart factories and improving them. After taking office, CEO Jong reorganized his business portfolio by cutting low-income and poorly performing businesses. This led to highly intense cost innovation, improving the company's overall health. This year's strategy is to create a successful model by focusing on robotics, safety, environment, and smart logistics as future growth projects. Early this year, it launched a task force dedicated to robotics, safety projects, and environmental projects to help realize carbon neutrality. For now, it is speeding up its promotion of industrial robotics. This is to improve high-risk and high-intensity production sites, to become safer workplaces, and to improve productivity and quality levels. With POSCO ICT at the center, POSCO Robot Solution Research Center, POSCO Holdings Industry Academic Cooperation Officer, RIST, and POSCTEC have formed a POSCO Group Robot Technology Council to create synergy by establishing an internal and external cooperation system. The council will identify sites that should be applied with robots first within POSCO Group's workplace. It also plays a leading role in field applications such as joint R&D and pilot projects to secure optical technologies and solutions suitable for needs on the ground. POSCO ICT will be in charge of developing robotics technology and solutions and will provide and spread robots by establishing a convergent system that connects robots with infrastructure, such as smart factories, that are currently in operation. In addition, the company is actively promoting the commercialization of the smart safety sector, where needs are increasing following the enforcement of the Serious Accidents Punishment Act. POSCO ICT will develop the Smart Safety Control Platform and build safe steel mills. Furthermore, it plans to spread to group affiliates and external smart factory customers while simultaneously commercializing safety platforms in construction sites. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. Crafton Rising Wings to promote animal protection. Crafton subsidiary Rising Wings, led by CEO Kim Jong-hoon, announced on the 14th that it has launched a social responsibility campaign called Animal Lives Matter to protect animals. AnLab to invite an art troupe comprised of people with developmental disabilities to give an in-house concert. AnLab held an in-house concert along with the Korea Employment Agency for the Disabled at the AnLab office in Pangyo 
on the 13th by the Bridge On Art Troupe for people with developmental disabilities. On the 14th, Anne Lab explained, we held this event to improve awareness of people with disabilities at work in order to embrace understanding through various art experiences. Cacao Pay to surpass 10 trillion monthly transactions. Cacao Pay announced on the 15th that monthly transactions surpassed 10 trillion won for the first time. For a month in May, more than 10 trillion won was traded on the Cacao Pay platform, excluding stock trading. It has grown 10 times in about four years since it surpassed 1 trillion won in monthly transactions for the first time in March 2018, the year following the spin-off. It first exceeded 10 trillion won in quarterly transactions in the first quarter of 2019, and 27.2 trillion won was traded in the first quarter of this year, up 2.6 times. Annual transactions amounted to 99 trillion won last year. That's it for the Pungo Techno Valley Weekly News. I'm Alexandra, and I'll see you next week.